Hello folks, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to answer the question that I get quite often. What is the easiest and least expensive way to charge up your battery with a solar panel? So I'm about to show you. As you can see from the chart, to charge your battery with a solar panel, you're going to need something to regulate the voltage. For that, we're going to need a charge controller. This is a small Harbor Freight charge controller. Cost about $20. You can get it even cheaper than that if you get one of their coupons. This one's kind of old. I've had it for like five years. And as you can see, not only is it faded, the words a little, I've also had the write-in battery solar load. But even after five years and so worn, it still works great. And why is this easy? You don't have to program it. You don't have to tell it what kind of battery. You don't have to tell it what type of voltage. You don't have to do any of that. This is simple. Now, let's point out, simple does not mean efficient. This will charge between 13 and 13.5 volts. So it will charge up a lithium battery. It will charge up an AGM, gel, wet lead acid. It will charge any of those, but it will not be efficient. It is not very efficient. It will not take a lithium battery to 14.6 like you're supposed to, but it will charge it up and you don't have to do anything to it. It also has very easy to use connections. And let's go ahead and show you how to do that now. So I have written there battery. So we want to take this connection. You always want to connect the batteries first. So we're going to connect that. It has a SAE connection. It's waterproof. It's easy to use. My connector's here. Also, of course, old and worn. Red. Black. Then we're going to come over here to the solar panel. This is a small 25 watt. It costs around $60. And we're simply going to take it and connect it as well. Once we do that, you can see on the charge regulator here, it has turned yellow. That's all it will tell you, and it means it is charging. Once it completely charges the battery up to around 13.5, it will turn green. And you simply disconnect it if you're finished charging. Or if you're using this in constant operation... You can keep this plugged in, and as the battery uses power, the solar panel will charge it back up. So this is the easiest and cheapest way to do it. The battery, the solar panel, and the charge regulator. All three of these, by the way, did come from Harbor Freight. I know people like to say Harbor Freight is just hobby and fake, but it works for me. I've had it in several blackouts, and it has never failed. It has always worked. And they're relatively inexpensive. And just for all the people who's going to ask, no, Harbor Freight is not paying me to do this. They did not send me any of this. I bought it with my own money. And there's no link that you can link onto that I'll get any money for it. It is all just to show you. So, if you have any comments, if you know a less expensive way that's easier, please put it down in the comments. I'd like to see that and take a look at it, because I'm always interested in your folks' opinion and what your ideas are. Okay, so if you like this type of video, please like it and subscribe, and of course, send it to someone that you think may enjoy this. Shoestring out.